was the son of a pizza man, the only boy. Hey guys, Enzo here, son of a pizza man. I'm here with... Davey. It's me. Welcome to Pizza Fied. Uh, so today we are pizza fying tuna ladder loaf, which is a recipe from your mom. Yep. Uh, this was kind of a, this is an easier pizza fi, pizza fying experience because the original recipe is essentially dough and a filling or topping, so what I did was I just took the same ingredients and I just kind of um, stuck them on a on a on pizza dough. Mm. So in in a form of pizza, circular pizza form shape. of pizza. So, so this is what it looks like. Um, I don't know. I thought so. What I did was I mixed up the the tuna mm -hmm. uh, ingredients and then I. Sprinkled the mozzarella cheese on top, mm -hmm. and then I sprinkled the peas. Um, the, Let me tell you what. On that runway today, your pussy was on fire when you sprinkled the peas on top. <clears throat> yes, I would actually never have thought of putting the peas on top. Yeah. I think that's it. It also looks more like a pizza that way. Right. Oh, I thought I was like, okay, it needs some kind of like topping element to it and I thought the green was a nice contrast to the yeah. white. If, if this was made the way that I think it, a lot of people don't make um, their tuna salad with peas in it. That's like right. a thing that I like to do and right. I don't know if my mom did or not but I know sometimes she put eggs, hard boiled eggs in hers right. too. But otherwise this pizza would look way different if it didn't have the peas in the recipe. It would just be this 
right. brown you need pizza. Some, you need some color, some, some zip, some pizzazz. Some pop, uh, so some zip. I did have some issues uh, getting it into the oven because it stuck to the, to the pizza peel and the peas on top kept rolling off. <laughs> so that was a bit challenging. So next time I, I think I might- Square I peas. Know, square peas. Square peas. Yes. Each individual square piece. Uh, okay, so you wanna try it? Yep, right. I'm, I'm hungry, let's do this. <laughs> so, well, the, piece, the the crust is a little, it's a little underdone. Well, I was gonna say is it's a similar phenomenon to what happened when we actually made the real one, is okay. that Everything gets crispy, it cooks up really fast, and then the, in, there's like this, I don't know, it's like a, I don't know, like it just blocks any moisture from getting out. There's so much moisture in the tuna. Yeah. But. Um, so, I don't know, maybe next time I would make the, the dough a little thinner, or very much thinner, probably like half the thick, thickness. I, I was just saying, maybe. I don't know how you would dry the dry the tuna off more. Yeah, I don't know. Use less mayo. Maybe. Um, so I don't know. Do you, do you think? How do you think it compares to your traditional tuna lye? I actually like the the denser um, the denser crust, like the denser dough. I think is is really nice. And also mozzarella is really good in in it too. I guess like I never think about mozzarella as being kind of like a little bit. I guess it's not really a super salty cheese, but it kind of is like. I don't know. It's very mild, mm -hmm. but it's not that it doesn't. I don't know. I think it. I think it. It feels very like bitey here. But I yeah, like it. Yeah, I like it too. I think. Uh, I think it's. I think this was a success. Uh huh. A pizza pie success. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So if you good job, a, baby. What? Is that good job? Oh, thank you. Good job. Uh, if you have a recipe that you want me to try, just um, hit me up on social media or leave a comment in the in the, uh, in the comments below. Leave a comment in the comments, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, well, I'll uh, I'll make it. I'll try to pizzify it. So, thanks as always for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that button down below. Subscribe. I'm, this is, I'm, I'm really, copying, I'm, I'm copying. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm good. actually. I'm glad. I'm glad. That, that was the whole point of it. Yeah, it's good. So I hope I made your mom proud. Um, I'm sure she's gonna. She's actually really, really looking forward to seeing this because well, this is a recipe that our, we talk about all the time in our family about. Well, well, well. Patty, this is for you. Hey, uh, happy Mother's Day. Happy. We're recording this on Mom's Day. Yes. I said it to you on the phone, but now you can see me in person saying. Sort of, in person. Happy Mom's Day. For you, Mom. For you, Mom. We made it into a pizza, and we're eating it. So, uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Uh, as always, please remember to subscribe below. Again, if you have any suggestions on stuff you want me to pizzify, it could be any kind of recipe. Um, kind, of, kind of challenge myself to pizzify almost anything. So even if it's like a soup, I'll pizzify your soup. Oh, that? How would you even do that? I know, right? <laughs> Shut so, up. So, uh, <laughs> and on that note, thanks guys. Uh, ciao for now. Smell you later. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever feed me was the son.